Hey guys, it's fantasy sports girl Jessie with the latest in fantasy football. With a tie in Cincy and confusion in Pittsburgh, week 11 was one of the craziest Sundays in memory. Let's revisit the madness in this week's studs and duds. Matt Castle tops my stud list and for good reason. After a few weeks as a game manager, Brady's backup became a game breaker with 400 yards through the air, 62 on the ground, and three touchdowns. Tennessee's Justin Gage makes a surprise appearance on the stud list after his performance in Jacksonville. I'm not sure what's more shocking, his 147 yards and two touchdowns, or the fact that Kerry Collins was on the other end of those passes. Joseph Adai hasn't made the list too many times this year, but 153 yards and two touchdowns against the Texans will do the trick. His first 100-yard game since last November was welcome news to the owners who have suffered through a disappointing season. For the Duds, let's welcome back Jake DeLome. After 72 yards and four picks against the Raiders, the Raging Cajun was determined to make things right this week. 98 yards against the Lions is just not right. The Julius Jones roller coaster season continued with 19 yards and a fumble on 10 carries. You can say all you want about the cards being stingy on defense, but Jones was brutal, and yet he still outrushed Maurice Morris. On the other sideline, Tim Hightower did not live up to his mid-season hype either. After 109 yards in week nine, he's delivered 22 yards in week 10 and 35 yards in week 11. Not exactly the stuff of dreams. That's all I've got for you now, so get back to work. Remember to check out more videos at fantasysportsgirl.com.